Louisiana mother and daughter charged with animal cruelty after dog training video surfaces online. The arrests came after officials were alerted of a social media video showing trainers striking a cane course of dog on the head with a riding crop. A Louisiana mother and daughter were arrested and charged after allegedly abusing dogs at their training facility. Cypress Arrow Kennel and Canine Academy owner Tina Frey, 52, and her daughter Victoria Brimer, 21, faced two counts of aggravated cruelty to animals. The Rapides Parish Sheriff's Office said in a Facebook post on that Thursday. The two were arrested after officials were alerted of a social media video showing Frey striking a cane corso dog on the head with a riding crop. Detectives then opened an investigation and affirmed the validity of the video. Police were thus able to establish sufficient probable cause that supported the original complaint, the sheriff's office said. Both of the accused have been released on $10,000 bond. The sheriff's office said the investigation remains very active and ongoing, and that the mother and daughter could face additional charges. I want to thank the public for bearing with us while we conducted a complete and thorough investigation into these allegations. Sheriff Mark would said in the Facebook post, I would also like to commend our animal control section and our detectives in their investigation of this incident into staying the course, following the evidence where it leads and not bending to pressure of a quick arrest, he continued. We always take these animal complaints seriously as we do all crimes, but we also have to investigate and make sure the alleged crime fits the law. Frey's attorney Brad Drell insists that his client is innocent, saying in a statement to People magazine, I want to unequivocally state that Tina Frey has never hurt or injured a dog in her care. She is a respected dog trainer and is qualified to train other trainers. Drell said Frey is an expert in dealing with the cane corso breed. Weighing over 100 pounds, they have the potential to be very dangerous to human beings if not trained properly, he said, pointing to recent incidents in which the breed has attacked people. The attorney addressing the video depicting the alleged abuse said the clip of Frey using a squirt of short whip on the dog named Phoenix creates a false impression that dogs are being injured. While the video is disturbing for many to watch, what needs to be understood is that Phoenix at the time was attempting to chew through a leash, which would have allowed Phoenix to bite either Miss Frey or her daughter, he said. The video shows two women each holding a leash and pulling in opposite directions as one woman, who Drill identifies as Frey, whips at the animal. He said Frey used a cord to stop the dog from biting through the leash, and noted that the video shows Frey and Phoenix's owner using the cord on themselves and experiencing no pain. While the cord makes some noise, it is flexible and not painful, Drell said. While I understand that many people feel, and some quite strongly, that the use of the cord is not what they would do to correct a dog, the use of the cord is not inhumane under the law. Phoenix was in no way injured, as is shown in the video.